Okay, I've lined up a few more papers. We're getting there. So, um, sorry, we're going to add another feature, but I we can go ahead and put down uh, the main panel and the right hand side. Make sure I've got everything turned right side up, and I do. So this is from the patterns. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, now this is from the 8x8 collection pack, so it's not going to be big enough to cover the whole center. So I'm going to use a strip here and also cover this panel. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start by adding the strip because if we have to trim anything down, I want to take it off the larger piece. It's just easier. In the, it's easier in the trimmer. This is one inch. Is that right? Let me double check for you. Yep, one inch. <clears throat> Which is about what I was shy. I think this is nine inches across. Remember, because we came in a half inch on each one of the outside flaps. Okay, now we'll lay this in and we'll figure out where we need to trim it. Perfect. Okay, we're going to add some ink where I just trimmed it. <clears throat> Again, this is from Patterns and Solids, and then the piece in my hand is from the 8x8 pack. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, now I'm going to hold off putting anything here because we still have to figure out our magnet placement. So we're going to leave the left hand side open. And then the last thing we're going to, um, the last couple of things we're going to add, um, I have in my hands. So two of the things are the inserts that go into the larger pockets. I'm going to set those aside. I'm going to install a card here. <clears throat> Actually, I think I'll put it together and then add it. It's going to get installed uh, offset. So let's set this aside for a second. So we've got a card. This card is seven by eight, seven inches tall by eight inches across. You're going to score it in half. And we are going to join, we're going to join these two, um, we're going to join this card with this photo mat. The photo mat is seven by four, seven by four. Okay, and we're going to use this piece to join them. <clears throat> so I got to think about how I'm doing that. I got to look at my mock up real quick. Okay, the way that's going to get installed, like so. Okay. Okay, so we're going to, let me double check, install. We're going to use this piece to do the join. And I think we're going to have it be about an eighth of an inch part. Then we're going to take this whole thing and install it into the book. Okay, so 
this is three by five, three by five. You're going to put paper on both sides. Um, one side's going to be uh, covered, so it doesn't really matter. And um, I'm trying to think about how I'm going to do that. So it's going to be this way. Okay, so this is going to get installed on this center line. So center and center, we're gonna put glue on this side, close it, and it'll be attached, okay? So open your card, it's going this, the seam on your card should be on the right-hand side, and we're gonna install this. This is going to get installed on, top, on the top panel, okay? Hopefully that's all clear. Now I'm gonna do, no, I already did it. Okay, so those are my reference lines. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so before we put that down, I'm gonna add these two pieces of designer paper. Da -da -da -da. And then this is gonna go right on top. So it makes just a nice flow of the panel, okay? And I, I measured this out um, so that you can butt it to make it easy to install. It's gonna butt right up to the, um, to the hinge area, so it should be pretty easy to install. <clears throat> and I hope I'm doing this all right, but for some reason I... Yeah, I am. Okay. Keep double-checking. These This just happened to be a piece that I had, but it didn't fit, so I had to trim it um, a, an awkward position to get it, to use up some scraps that I had. Can't remember if I pushed the record button. Yes, I did. Okay. Sorry, I got a little discombobulated. So they don't have to be this big since we've got this red piece that's going to go down the center. But like I said, it just happened to be a piece that I had left over um, from something else I had done. Well, I don't know why that's so far off. I'm going to reach out my corner. It's like I didn't get it all the way in. Wrong side. It should fit better now. All right, now I've got the center line marked here and the center line marked here. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay. I'm just flipping it over so I know that I'm going to put glue from here down. Okay, I'm going to line up that tick mark. I'm going to close it and push it into place. Okay, here we go. Now, <clears throat> so that's done. Burnish this into place. Get off our excess glue. Okay, so we still need to um, find some paper to go here, here. Okay, now these two are gonna be joined 
by um, gluing this to this panel, but we don't want to do that until um, we cover this with designer paper. Okay, so we need to pick out the designer paper. This side actually gets glued into the book. This side has to have designer paper, and then this and this have to have designer paper. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so these are these will be attached like so. When you open this up. This will be installed right here. So this will open up like so um, when it's attached. And uh, yeah, that's right. So we don't need to decorate this side, okay? So I don't know exactly where this is gonna get installed until I join these two pieces. So I'm gonna go find my designer paper for these pieces and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all my papers lined up, but I am, I'm kind of stumbling through this a little bit because I haven't figured out where we're putting our magnet yet. So let me pull out the pieces that we had just worked on and set that up here. So here is um, the piece that we put together that is going to go um, be mounted like so in the book. Okay. So I know that I can go ahead and cover this side because there's not going to be a magnet here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that because I've got so much paper floating around. So I, I chose this green piece from the patterns and solids to pull out the green here. <clears throat> is that, I got to think about this for a second. <laughs> this is going like this. Okay, so we're gonna add, this is going to be the extension. So when we close it, it's gonna go like this. It's gonna be installed like this. Okay, so I take that back. The green is gonna go here and here. Is that right? No, that's not right. Why am I having such a hard time? When we open, once this is attached, we're gonna open it. Okay, that's right. Okay, we're gonna have green here <laughs> and green here. Man, that's difficult. So that's gonna be, um, this gets mounted like this, so the inside's gonna be green. And there won't be a magnet on this, anywhere on this piece, on the card piece. I built a prototype, but I didn't place a magnet, so, that, so I'm still trying to figure it out. <clears throat> so sorry about that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, it is. Okay, so it's going to go just like this. So we can go ahead and um, add this piece because the magnet's going to go on this side. I think I got it all figured out finally. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Hopefully it won't show up. I can see it a little bit. Whenever it's on a solid piece, it always shows up a little bit better than if it's got pattern. Okay, so I think I went through all the sizes, but I will, I'll go through that again. So this is seven inches tall by eight inches across, scored in half. This is three by five. And then this piece right here is four by seven. Four by seven. Okay, now this is going to go be installed like so. <clears throat> so I'm going to use my grid here to line things up, and then I'll tell you, I'm going to put a gap between the two, I just don't know how much yet. Um, and I think I'm going to use some temporary tape to figure it out because I want to see how much is peeking out from the layer on top. OK, 
Okay, so if I've got this right, you know, it's, yeah, it's going to go like this. So I'm going to start with a quarter inch gap, and we'll see how we like that. I'm going to, and then I'm just going to lay it in here and check it out. In the, my prototype, I did about an eighth inch, and that didn't. That's pretty tight. Okay, so this is going to get centered. Actually, oh no. Oh, that's right. It's going to go like this. So it's going to be centered this way. So how much is going to show? Oh, quite a bit. Okay. So we've got a little bit of each one of these panels. So I am going to apply it. Um, I'm going to put a quarter inch gap in it. <clears throat> okay, so before I can attach these two, I need to cover this. And before I cover this, I um, want to figure out where my magnet's going to go. And I'm looking and it looks like that's about a quarter inch in from each side, but let's check it out. It's a little over a quarter inch from, from the score line. It looks like it's a quarter inch in from the designer paper. Yeah. So basically, I just want to have this centered. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is place a magnet right here and try to decide. I think I'm going to do two magnets because all of this is pretty heavy, as you may have noticed. <laughs> so I'm going to do one on the top and one on the bottom. And then um, we'll find its mate over here uh, after... after I do a little bit more planning. Just want to make sure it's covered and yeah, it looks like that's going to be plenty of coverage. Let's go a little more toward the edges. There we go. Let's get some white tape to cover this with. And again, this is actually going to get glued here so we don't have to decorate that, but we are going to put something on top of this. So our next step is going to be to find some designer paper to go on this. And then we will attach, attach this. And this is the design. Oh, it's not. I have a designer paper picked out. What did it? Here it is. Uh, no, I had one trimmed out. We're going to use this. It's from, the, uh, here it is, from the 8x8 collection pack. So that's what's going to go on here. But, yeah, we can go ahead and put it down because we've got our, our magnets in. <clears throat> Set that aside. Eight by eight collection pack. And again, this piece is four by seven. Please uh, let me know if you find any discrepancies in the check in the um, cut list. I checked it twice, three times actually. Um, and I, I believe it's all accurate, but let me know if you find something and I'll get it corrected right away. I can do that without having to re-upload the video. Um, so I can do that, you know, instantaneously. If you find an error in one of the banners or anything else that's actually embedded in the video, like the audio and the banners, those are embedded. I can't change those in YouTube. I have to modify, modify that on my master file and then re-upload re it, which I'm happy to do. So be sure to let me know if you see anything that needs uh, attention. 
and I'll do my best to get it fixed. Okay, so the next thing is to attach these two things, right? Just like we discussed. So I wanna make sure I've got a straight line on the bottom. So I'm gonna to go to my grid here and uh, and, you, and use that to help me. I feel like I need to burnish this down a little bit better over the magnets. Use that to help me get a straight line here, and I'm using a quarter inch gap. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna do a quick pencil mark so I don't put glue past that. It looks like it's about This, you could also do this with tape if you wanted. It's a lot of extra glue there. Oh, yeah. I like to take one of these out early so it kind of dries a little because it's really wet now but I'll pick up a little of my glue okay there we go all right now that this is done we can pull this back in and basically we want to center this whole thing and then we're going to add we're going to close it draw a line and then we'll put glue on the right hand side um after we figure out where our center look where the center is this looks about right but i want to look at what it looks like closed okay so i just realized we're going to need to put a strip here of designer paper and i'm going to use this so it'll match what's in here already and I think a half inch strip is going to be enough, but I'm going to go ahead and make it three quarters inch so I don't have to worry about it being short. Or too narrow. Uh, let's see. Okay. Do I already have a piece that's trimmed out? I didn't. Okay. Okay, that should be plenty. We're going to um, chomp the corners. Yep, and we'll be good to go. This is a fun page, but there's a lot to it. Thank you. 
Okay, up here. All right, now let's go back to centering this, gluing it down, adding our magnets, and putting this last panel in, and we'll finally be done with this page. It's the never ending page. Okay, so. What do you guys think? It looks pretty good, huh? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add my glue. Just about right. This will give me a little bit of time to move it around, but not a lot. Gosh, I did it upside down. That's upside down. <laughs> oh, look at this is right side up and this is upside down. Damn it. Oh, so this whole panel is on wrong. Damn it. So I need to lift this panel off. I put it on wrong. Dang it. Sorry, guys. That was confusing. It's difficult. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to save it. Oh. Oh, we'll see. That means... <clears throat> this was supposed to be on here. That's where I messed up. Dang it. So that's right. That's right. This is where that strip goes. Okay, so let me think about this for a second. I think I can solve my problem just by adding it to this side, by switching sides. Can I? Yes, I can. Yes, the whole thing can be changed just, just by flipping sides, except the magnets are on the wrong side. Where are my magnets? Right here, okay. I still think I can pull it off, guys. I'm going to have to pause. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, so I'm not going to put it on the other side. I'm going to go back to this, and that's because when I laid it down the first time, I left all these glue tracks, so I am going to apply it here. So here's what I did. I removed um, this panel, um, which I had installed upside down, um, and 
we still need to cover this. But basically, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it like this, as it should be. We're going to put that three quarter inch strip here. I have to recover this, so I peeled it off using my spatula and a little bit dampened it a little bit. And it doesn't all have to come off. You just want to get it away from the edges so that when you put your new piece on, you won't see any of it. And I'm hopeful that when I join these two pieces, um, we're not going to see any of the paper that I lifted up removing it the first time. So I'm going to be very careful to apply it right to where I removed it. And, and um, basically I had done, I don't know, something wrong, but it was upside down. So when it's opened, it should look like so. Okay. So somehow I got one of these turned upside down and now I think I've got my problem solved. Hopefully you guys don't do that with me. Um, if you had followed my instructions the first time, it would have worked. It just would have, if you uh, hadn't checked your pattern uh, orientation, it might have been upside down. <clears throat> I think this is what I did. In fact, I'm sure that's what I did. So double checking one more time. All good. And all I have to do is make sure this goes right back over where it was before. Oh, but it can't. Shoot. It's way off now. <sighs> Darn it. <clears throat> I think I tore my paper too much here. I might have to rebuild this whole panel. That's the worst case scenario. Which I don't want to do because I don't want to waste those two pieces of paper, so I'm trying very hard to make it work. I'm using my grid right now to try to line it up. <clears throat> oh, you can see it just a little tiny bit. You can see a little bit of white right there. I'm gonna to try to cover that up with um, a pen. It'll be less obvious too when I get some designer paper on here. Okay. And I just put these magnets here just to remember that that's the location of the magnets. Okay, now this gets glued down there. And it, when it's all open, it's going to look like that. Burnish this into place. Make sure it's got a good grab. <clears throat> so the next thing is we need to cover this with polka dots. So... Six and seven eighths. That's going to go here. Yep. Sorry, just need to jump, double check, make sure I was. The camera was running. So that was just where the one inch strip was. I took it off just because I didn't want to uh, try to minimize the bulge here when I put down uh, the, the new sheet. <clears throat> The handles always slip off these. Okay. Okay, that's all looking good. You ink it and we'll lay it down. So I'm pretty happy. It looks like most everything is going to be, my mistake will be hidden. Got a little bit of paper sticking out here, so I'm going to see if I can't lift it. Okay. Perfect. Let's 
sometimes I don't think I get it pushed all the way in. So basically I wasted a four by seven piece of paper. It happens. Disappointing. Hopefully uh, you won't. This is a confusing part, so you may want to watch it a few times before. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm confusing myself again. So this goes like so, like so. Okay, so we still need that quarter inch or three quarter inch um, strip here. Okay, before I, before I glue it down, I'm gonna show you the inside and outside one more time um, to try to reduce the confusion that I've created. Did I really waste any paper? Actually, no, I didn't. I guess that's the only piece that I couldn't salvage after I flipped everything around. Is that true? I'm glad I figured it out before I glued it down. It would have been harder to fix. Okay. This is just going to go right here to cover that little bit that's peeking out. Okay, I need to cover that. So that's three inches. By one, three by one. Now I can choose whatever I want. Let's do, what's on the other side? Is the stripe? Nope, it's the solid. Let's look at it and figure out what we want to do. Maybe I should use this, pull that back in. Or just solid red. Maybe a piece. I definitely want to use a scrap. Three by one. <clears throat> Right. Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay, let's chomp the corners, ink it, and lay it down. And then it'll be time to glue this down again for the second time. Okay, that's A or B. A, I like A. Let's do it. There's enough going on. We don't need to have that stripe. Oh, this is the never ending page, guys. I'm going to come back with um, an alcohol ink pen and and cover that up. I think I've got a super dark gray pen that will cover up that little bit of white. 
Okay, so let's get it centered and then glue down again. Okay, it looks like I need to come to this dot line. And that looks pretty good. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, I'm just gonna burnish this all into place. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> All right, now we're ready to locate our magnets on the other side. So we'll get our tape, put it underneath these, marry that, and then cover it. It's a very uh, interesting page, not for the faint of heart. And hopefully, uh, I think the real big issue, it, because there's layers, you have to decorate, add, decorate, add. That makes it a little bit more confusing versus some of the other pages that are more simple where you just do all your interactive installations and then just cover them. But let's turn this sideways. But it makes it very a, a very interesting album, I think. No, there's, I forgot, we still have two inserts we've yet to cover. Okay, I'm going to do this so I can feel the magnet under there. And I would recommend two magnets. This, this is a lot of weight. Okay, now I got to find that last piece that I here it is come down. So this is going to go here. So you're going to have that continuation. <clears throat> dry fit it real quick. The way things are going, <laughs> looks good. <clears throat>
Now, because this is page one and page eight is going to be the same, and there's so much interaction on page one and eight, we'll probably do some more simple pages um, to help um, with paper conservation because this took a lot of paper. <clears throat> Okay, good, good. Now the absolute last thing are the two inserts that go in these larger pockets. And I'm actually gonna set these aside and I may have to do some color blocking to cover these. So I'll come back to that. Um, I'll talk about it probably in the walkthrough. I don't think I'm gonna cover them right now and this video is already so stinking long, I'm gonna upload what I have. And uh, that is it for page one. So let's go over it again. So you've got the smaller inserts, the ephemera cards, and basically I uh, trimmed down these inserts so that the ephemera cards would fit perfectly. You've got the two, up, two upper flaps. There's going to be an insert for each one of these. And I don't know where my other one is, but yeah, here it is. So there'll be two inserts here. I'm going to close it all up before. Okay, this opens and then this opens to reveal that on the inside. Okay, so this panel right here is what's holding this down and then these two magnets is what's holding this down. That's what's holding it all together. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, Oops, and then that's the inside, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and open this back up, put my inserts in here so I don't forget about them or repurpose them. And then when I come back to this at the very end, and based on what paper I have, I may have to do some color blocking to cover these. It's not wanting to go all the way down. There we go. It should go down a half inch. It's running into the, uh, there it goes. Lovely, lovely, a lot going on. Cool page, don't you think? I like it. Okay, so page eight will be the same. Um, and then I'll come back and do those inserts uh, a little bit later. Bye.